Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine the Open World Game Development Series. And today I am going to show you this how to do this. Now, as you can see here, this uh, these pillars they look dry here, and when they are closer to this water surface, they look wet like this. And when it when the surface closer to the water uh, there are reflections and it has some wet look and it uh, fades away the wetness fades away as the surface goes up and this is what I am going to show you today how to develop that material and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me okay so for your information i got rid of what i was doing in last two episodes so actually i was trying to find a way to share the hierarchical instanced static mesh components across these uh, procedural objects but yeah but I, since i couldn't come up with an elegant solution for that i deleted those changes and restored the previous procedural object code so I'll just show it to you here so I am using this place static instances and I got rid of procedural manager and also I changed this just like before the only different part is after this branch I have created this macro set HIS which comes like this and set the HISM current so yeah this part is not relevant to today's episode I'm just showing you okay now today this is what I want to do so here I have this water surface and as you can see here there is no blending in between this uh, this um, base of the bridge and the water so it would blend with this water surface better if there is some kind of a wet look near the surface of the water so that's what i want to work on today so to get started with that yeah this is the mesh and this is the material of that mesh here is this pillar one or pillar two let me check it's a semblance column large yeah this is the one okay so first I'll duplicate this material this M planes pillars with control W M plane pillars one. So I'll call it M planes pillars wet and I'll assign this material for this pillar right now let's start editing this pillar object right now this is what we have at the moment well there are so many loops and a normal map not sure what exactly these are right so anyway in order to make this look wet what we have to do is working on this roughness mainly right so where should I get started we don't have to change anything in the base color I guess right 
so anyway let's see I'll break this roughness input from here and promote this to a parameter just with the roughness and when I set the roughness to zero as you can see it already looks wet and also yeah it would look more wet if I multiply this base color with a uh, I'll promote this to another parameter. I'll call it wet multiplier. Not zero, definitely. Let's try something like point eight, and it should look a little bit darker. Yeah, as I decrease this value, it becomes dark. okay now what I need to do is after some level uh, this should look wet and above that level it should look dry mm, we can do that with the lerp yeah let's do it like this lerp linear interval it this and this with some alpha and I need to select this alpha based on the height of that pixel we consider so let's get the world position the current pixel and do a component mask I only need the Z or B because I at this point I only worry about the height I need to consider only the height so what happens well I should clamp this between 0 and 1 right now as you can see mm, you can see above this level this looks wet and below this level it looks dry but that's quite the opposite of what we want to do let's see how it looks in the pillar everywhere it looks wet wait a minute this should be interchanged now above this level it looks dry and below this level it looks wet right now let me put this aside now what I'll create another another parameter like this let's promote this to a parameter and I'll call this wetness level
and if I keep it as 0 it would be like this okay now to clearly see the difference I'll add another loop to this one as well for P it would be this way multiplier and A should be 1 and use it here so that uh, as the alpha I'm going to use the same alpha value as in this wetness okay now here in this case it should be like this and we should be one right now you can see below this point it's it looks wet if you want to increase the no this if you want to increase the effect you have to decrease the value here if i make it zero it should be black like this see so i don't need to be black so i'll keep it like 0.2 we can figure out the proper values later okay and now let's see here it looks all dry and maybe yeah let me select this wetness level And let's try a value like 500 all right five hundred is too much let's say two hundred still too much ah right the problem is here this these pillars are in negative space so i think i should use minus values right correct minus 800 cool so i guess minus 830 is something would be better okay right now we do have some kind of a blending now with the water level but this edge is too sharp as you can see so it would look cool if we have some kind of a blending instead of going from 0 to 1 directly over a single point uh, we should see reducing the wetness gradually as the height of the surface goes up so yeah let's go back to the material so here what we need to do is um, let's divide this value I'll promote this to a parameter, I'll call it wetness radiant. It shouldn't be zero because divide by zero is not defined. Let's say hundred and apply. Okay, um, let's 
let's see right now it looks now that sharp edge is gone you can see the wetness gradually decreases so let's find a more suitable value now instead of 100 let's try 50 cool 10 all right yeah 30 looks great okay now it's better and this is the final result yeah, but still from the distance you don't see much of a distance but much of a difference but you can see clearly see some wetness closer to the water surface and if you go closer you can see clear reflections in the wet area mm, but this blending is no i'm not really happy with that but uh, yeah we have something and i'll stop this episode at this point and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and thanks for watching um see you in the next episode goodbye